This next parable, and by the way, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. We're talking about the parables of Jesus. This is Matthew chapter 13, verses 44, or 45 and 46. See, what Matthew was doing was he was giving these wonderful parables, saying, this is what the kingdom of heaven is like. He says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. What Matthew was trying to get across in each one of these parables is understanding the wonderful thing that God has given us. Now, in the ancient world, pearls were of great value. Today, of course, diamonds are of great value. But in that age, it was very much a part of the ancient world. In fact, one of the things that we discovered when we were looking at the New Jerusalem is that the uh, gates of the New Jerusalem were made of one giant pearl. You see, in the ancient world, pearls were of great price. And in this case, this is a pearl of great price. You see, he was looking for it. He was, he was looking for fine pearls. This was a merchant. He had a task. He had a goal. He had a desire. And that was to find that perfect pearl. And when he found it, you know what he did? He went away, sold everything he had, and he bought it. You see, he understood the value of this pearl. Now, in the application of that to our particular situation, do you understand what has been given to you? Do you understand the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace, and joy, has been given to you through the wonderful death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus? It's a great value. In fact, it is priceless. It's the pearl of great price, our wonderful salvation. And all of that came because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died so that you and I could have both eternal and abundant life. That's what Jesus said in John 10.10. 10, I've come to give you life and I've come to give it to you abundantly. Like the old song says, more abundantly, more abundantly, that I might have life. And more abundantly, this wonderful parable illustrates the very fact that, number one, the merchant was seeking for this wonderful pearl. He was diligently going market by market, place by place, going from one merchant to the other, looking for that special pearl. And then when he finally found it, he gave up everything. He sold everything so that he could purchase it. Are you willing to give up everything to follow Jesus Christ? Are you willing to give up the world, the flesh, and the devil? Are you willing to give up family and friends? Are you willing to give up your reputation? Are you willing to give up everything in this world to follow Jesus Christ? Because that's what's going to cost. It's going to cost you everything, but you are going to gain everything. All the wonderful promises of God are yours. All the inheritance and all the things of heaven belong to you. You have heaven at your disposal. When you pray, you have a God wants to hear and answer your prayers. God wants to give you all the wonderful things that he has in store for you. In fact, if all the things he had in store for you were shown to you, it would absolutely blow you away. It would slay you. You'd never be able to comprehend it or understand it. But that's the pearl of great price. And what Jesus was trying to get across here is, please, value what you have been given. Be willing to give up all to receive the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.